running back, yeah. Run it all, the running back, yeah, yeah. Run it all, run it back, run it all, run it back, run it all, run it back, run it all, run it back. I don't have much of an appetite for building and, you know, guys two and three years away from really going after it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think we we get Shaden at 19 and he's just different. You know what I'm saying? I think he just being around him, his disposition, you know what I mean? His, how he listens, um, his frame, his natural talent and his ability. I think, you know, that's that's a that's enough 19 year olds you know what I'm saying and you probably won't find one that will come along the way he has but um you know I I'm just not I just ain't interested in that you know being honest and this this is not a secret you know what I mean I I want a chance to to go for it and if the route is to to do that then you know that's you know that's not my route So Dame is done with teenagers. That's uh, no more 19-year-olds. He's over it, that the, the one's good. But are you buying that he remains a Portland Trailblazer? I am not. I think he's gone. And I think it's, it's, I think he should be gone. I think it's to the point now where it's going to be a mutual you know, breakup going into this where they understand he deserves better. He proved this year that he can still play at a high level and he can still, you know, he wants to compete for a championship. And he's made it very, very clear. He's given his all to this city, this organization. He's the best Portland Trailblazer of all time. Uh, and I think it's just come to it. Of to all a, time? I think so. Whoa. I, and I think it's just, be, it's come to an end here where this has all worked out fantastic for him too, where he can leave, you know, hands free, come back to a standing ovation. And <laughs> I even think as much as the fan base there will miss him and want, would love to see him back and to, to add other pieces to compete for a championship. They love him so much that they'll they'll be happy for him to find another home and to be able to play, a, you know, and be able to compete for a championship. And they know that it's <laughs> not going to happen in Portland. So I think how it's all worked out, I think he, he's got the green light to get on up out of there. It confuses me. Dame, really? Dame signed a two-year, $122 million extension last summer. Mm. He, he didn't have to do that. I mean, you look, I'm not turning down $122 I was gonna million. Say. Dollars. I'm gonna do it. He didn't have to do that. If he wanted max flexibility, he could have played it out and did all that. He's been doing this for a few years. I understand it. He's he's conflicted. He wants to win a title. He wants to be loyal to Portland. He wants to do all stuff. Whatever he's going to do, I want him to do it. I want him to hurry yeah. up and be done with it, and I want to stop hearing these quotes. I want to stop hearing the exclusive interviews with such and such reporter where he says, yo, I'm locked in to Portland, and then he sits on the podium and says, I actually don't want us to draft. And I let's eat. they got Jeremy Grant last year. They, they, they're usually active in free agency. They get meetings with everybody because they're the Portland Trailblazers, right? They're in state, no state tax, all this great stuff going on for them. They've tried. If he wants to go, go. There's options out there for him. I think a team like the Nets. I think, you know, people always mention the Heat because it's Miami and, and they have those contracts there that they could get off of and all this great stuff. If he wants out, please ask out. It's happened before. Go. Like, let's get it over with. Eddie's over it. I'm over I, it. I think the big date for the Trailblazers is going to be draft lottery night in mid-May and figuring out exactly where they end up drafting. Do they get the number one overall pick? Do they get two? If they get high up there, that gives you either you, you sell Dame on, on, listen, you get a chance to play Victor, with Victor Wembanyama, or you get a chance to play with Brandon Miller, one of these other young guys. But again, what will his appetite be? So I think get to that point, and I think we'll have more clarity. But I still think even if Portland gets the number one pick, they're still going to be rebuilding, right? They're still, yeah. gonna, they're still not going to be a contender. Still a teenager. So watching that game <laughs> last night, I can see him perfectly in Brooklyn. I think that would make the most sense. I think he is what they need, and I think that would be the ideal spot if I was named Lillard. Shams, if you're Portland, Ben Simmons' contract, that's that's the haul for Damian Lillard. I don't I don't know. I don't like know. if I get all if you if you get all the picks, if you get four or five first with Ben Simmons, I mean you got to think about it, right? Don't aggregate that. For guys. thirty don't two year, <laughs> yeah, 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 please, please. We're, we're like spitballing here. This is just like banter. We're spitballing. This is just banter. Here. But you know, Damian Lillard is thirty two, gonna be thirty three uh, in July, I believe. Uh, he's he's got four years and two hundred and twenty million dollars on his contract. Pretty good uh, agenting.
for, <laughs> for, for, for him. For yeah, himself. Lamar Jackson, are you listening? 40, Get an agent. $45 million on the book. That's a not $63 million dollar player option in 25, 26, I think. Good, so. good times to be Damian Lillard. Right? right? I think when he's zero, like 37. Zero tears right. for uh, Damian Lillard on that one.